Hi Capricorn and welcome to my channel. I hope you're doing well. This reading is for Twin Flames, so I'm going to look at you and your person's energy. Feel free to flip the energies, they can come out reversed. Welcome to any cross watchers, welcome if you're new. And thank you so much to those of you who've returned to my channel, I really appreciate your support. Please do hit the like button, leave a comment if you wish, so that my content may circulate and reach more people. By the way, in case you haven't noticed, I'm currently offering private readings and I have a shop from which they're available to purchase. So if you're interested in a private reading, the link to my shop is in the description box below. So let's take an oracle card, first of all, for the main theme. Wow, action. Now this just came out for Pisces, I believe. Um, so if you've got Pisces in your chart, if you're dealing with the Pisces, you might want to um, sort of also watch that reading. So it says action. Now is the perfect time to act. Take inspired action towards your dreams. Move forward with confidence. So maybe some of you have the urge to make a change move towards your dreams and the divine is guiding you with this light here with it being in the woods i'm seeing that some of you might have been confused not seeing clearly but i feel you're going to gain some sort of insight here that helps you to do this that could be also for your person that that resonates so let's tune into your energy first of all then Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. I'm seeing a lot of swords, first of all. Um, so this really links with potential confusion that I was feeling for some of you, overthinking, maybe some self-sabotage, inner conflict, anxiety at night, something that's weighing heavily on some of you with the Ten of Wands. Now it could just be this connection, you're thinking a lot about what happened, maybe your person deceived you, ghosted you, you went through a dark night of the soul as a result of this ending. But you see, you do have the sun there trying to peep through as you start to release these burdens and worries and thoughts. Spirits urging you here to go within. Um, inner like the inner knowing that you have will guide you forward so not in the head but in the heart you know and you will find clarity potentially the ace of swords wow another another sword i hadn't seen that one capricorn um but this is a positive one because it's showing you'll overcome those burdens they're just yeah they're just highlighting the mountains in these cards here and here you know you, you'll overcome those obstacles potentially and I feel this is like the divine guidance I was feeling there before as well it could be that you've got lots of options that's what's making some of you confused here Maybe your dreams are confusing you. Maybe you're having bad dreams for, for some of you. Some of you have a big decision you need to make. That's clearly coming, coming out here. Um, it's also a sign of like renewal with judgment. 
It's interesting she's got the sword there. She's knighting this person, um, which I feel is you. So it's like you're going to be commended, is the word they want to give me here, um, for overcoming these obstacles, making this decision, taking action, making a change within yourself, I feel. The highlighting the dog there, yeah, being loyal to your journey. It's coming out here. Some of you have a dog. So we've got Virgo, Scorpio, you might have those in your chart. Could be your person's energy. Let's tune into your person. Now I'm really getting the initial M, M-A. Um, for a name coming through, maybe Maria, Mary. Mark. Okay, that one's flown out on the Ten of Wands. The Chariot, wow. <laughs> and this is all about taking action. Same message, so strong message for your person there to take action. Um, and um, they're just telling me, for some of you, it is towards you. Because this card can also show a reconciliation, potentially. We've got three sevens in this reading as well, so a very spiritual connection here. No, another seven there, they're just telling me, the chariot, yeah. Missed that one. So four sevens, you might be seeing seven, seven, seven. I'm just, I'm really getting with that number intuitively, it's a call to move forward, a call from the divine to move forward on your spiritual path. So three major arcana for your person, so it does seem it's quite a critical time for them. I'm seeing a lot of reflection, contemplation here, which came out for you. So there's mirroring. Your person during that time is really going to tap into their emotions, balance their yin and yang, which links with the chariot, because this car shows the yin and yang and moving forward as a result. So the message here is when you're both aligned within, this is when things shift in your connection. Your person at the moment is, as they're reflecting, they're thinking about what they're invested in, what they desire. They're trying to be strong in terms of making this decision. Um, Sagittarius, Leo, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. They're just telling me take another card here. Wow, yeah, the cards for your person are a bit all over the place, so they really need this time at the moment, I feel. And this came out up here. Page of Pentacles, yeah. So they're keeping things to themselves while they do this. They're not telling anyone. Um, they're learning 
learning spiritual lessons, but learning about this connection, I feel. And also they're telling me you're in their heart. They're reflecting on what they did to you. I'm getting, yeah, I'm getting emotions here coming through. This is where they need to balance their own energy here. Okay, so let's um, just moving the cards a little bit more up. Um, let's get anything else on your your person's energy here. Sort of behind the scenes. Yeah, your person. <clears throat> so it's interesting, they're blocking my throat chakra, first of all. So that links with, you know, what they're keeping to themselves. They're not speaking out. But they're actually quite unhappy. Um, if they're in a relationship, even more so. There's another seven on this card, wow. Your person, um, what I'm getting here as well, is if they're in a relationship, they're going to break free with the first card being the chariot. Some of you, I feel that's what's on your mind here. Will they do this? And when they go within and connect with how they feel, then I feel that they do. But it's about being honest, isn't it? Yeah, a lot of emotions here that will come, come out. <clears throat> it's still blocking my throat chakra for this person. So I feel you're not communicating. Um, and this is a sign of reunion. It's what they desire. And we had judgment confirming that for you. Um, this is also the Queen of Cups. We had the King here. So, you know, that's you. They're on their mind, in their heart. Yeah, they might, they might be very good with their words. Um, with you, this is, you know, they might reach out to you um, and not think it through. Yeah, because we had the chariot. We're just highlighting that there. It's like it might happen very quickly. Chariot is so fast, you know. Okay, anything else for you? They're just telling me there's something else here. Yeah, they might have a child. But I'm feeling they, they do share how they feel. They're open about what they want to do in their life. For you, we got hope. Yeah, you're waiting for your ship to come in in terms of this connection, trying to manifest. But again, just watch the overthinking there that we had, you know. Don't just be in that energy. Try to let go. Uh, well, we've got a card there. Yeah, because again, I'm getting that energy that you feel your person ran from this connection, which is very common for Twin Flames. Maybe they deceived you. Some sort of betrayal here, I feel. I'm feeling you've both grown a lot on this journey as well. We've got an angry woman. Let's come out here. So, yeah, what they're telling me is some of you with all this thinking, kind of links to what I said at the beginning. You've got some anger that's bubbling to the surface. Now, nothing wrong with anger if you can release it healthily. Um, but it's time to go within and process 
that emotion. You know, if you're focused on what happened in the past with your person, it keeps you up at night. You're focused on betrayal, then you're not forgiving and releasing. It doesn't mean taking them back at all, but it's just for your own well-being. With the Ace of Swords, though, I feel you're going to find a way to do that. Okay, Capricorn, let's pull a charm. Wow. <laughs> now, believe it or not, I do close my eyes. You know, I, I don't look when I select the charms. And we got two elephants. Symbol of strength, which came out for your person. Good fortune. Now, notice they're facing each other. It is you and your person finding the strength to take action in your lives. Elephants um, learn from the past, you know. They forgive, but they don't forget. So forgiveness really coming through here, I feel for both of you, in terms of this alignment. Again, I'm feeling a child coming through here for you or your person, potentially. Okay, Capricorn, I really hope you've enjoyed this reading. Thank you so much for being here and for all your support. Sending peace of light to you all.